alone and is there to hold oh you're the center of my joy and all that's good and perfect comes from you of my contentment, hope for all I do, oh Jesus, you're the center of my joy, can we lift it up today, Jesus, Jesus, you're the center of, you're the center of
keep us my sustainer go before the throne of grace that we may obtain help in the time of need. Heavenly Father, we come before you with thanksgiving, giving you thanks for blessing us to see another day, letting us rise up with our help and strength, a reasonable amount of strength. We thank you for your great love and your great mercy that caused us to continue unto this day. We thank you, we thank you for blessing us who are gathered together today. Oh God, we expect to hear something from you that will cause us to move a little further along. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for all of your healing that you have done to our soul and all our lives. We just can, we thank you for the unseen dangers that you have brought us through. Thank you for keeping us, oh God, in Jesus' name. Thank you for your blessings upon all those that are connected to us, our loved ones, our friends, associates, even our enemies, because we were your enemies one time, but now you have caused us to be your lovers. And we pray that you will continue that process through us. Oh God, today we ask that your blessings will be in the house. Hope to see somebody get saved today and hoping to somebody will be delivered, somebody be healed today. Oh God, in Jesus' name, those who are having financial struggles, we pray that you'll send a special blessings into their house. Oh God, let the praises of the saints ring up to your glory and to your honor today. Oh God, these things we ask in the mighty, matchless name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And let the church say, Amen. Amen. May be seated. Our scripture will be coming from St. John, the 14th chapter. I begin reading at the first verse. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. And whither I go, ye know, and the way ye know. Thomas saith unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If you had known me, ye should have known my Father also. And from henceforth ye know him, and have seen him. Philip saith unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it suffices us. Jesus saith unto him, I have been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that has seen me has seen the Father. And how sayest thou then, show us the Father? Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? If the, works that I, if the words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but of the Father that dwelleth in me. 
he doeth the works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very works' sake. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. I read unto you 12 verses from the 14th chapter of St. John. May it be edified to the hearers in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, let's give God a praise because we serve an awesome God, the kind of God that can move mountains and keeps us in the valley and hides us from the rain. Come on, we serve an awesome God today. Hallelujah. Come on, help us sing this today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. My God is awesome. He can move mountains, keep me in the valley, and hide me from the rain. Come on, let's go. One big voice. My God is awesome. My God is awesome. He can move mountains. He can move mountains. Keep me in the valley. Keep me in the valley. Hide me from the rain. Hide me from the rain. Declare it. My God is awesome. My God is awesome. Heals me when I'm broken. Heals me when I'm broken. Strength where I've been weakened. Strength where I've been weak. Forever he will reign. Forever. Come on, one more time from the top. Come on, point to yourself. Say, my God is my God. God That's is right. Awesome. He can move mountains. He can move mountains. He keeps me in the valley. Keeps me in the valley. He hides me from the rain. Hide me from the rain. Come on, point to yourself. My God is my awesome. My God is awesome. He heals me when I'm broken. Heals me Come on, how many need a healing? He strength where I've been strength broken. Where we can Come on, forever he will reign. Forever he Come on, will let's take it out. We know this part. Let's go. My God is My awesome. God is awesome. 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 Beautiful. Awesome. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. My God. My God is awesome. Come on. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Forgiven. Today I am forgiven. His grace is why I'm living. His grace is why Come I'm on, living. praise His holy name. Praise His holy name. Let's take it out to the chorus. Come on, let's lift it up. My God, My God is awesome. 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 Come on, sing it like He's awesome. My God is Protection, 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 protection. He's awesome, 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 awesome. Come on, lift it up. Come on, protection, 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 protection. Way maker. Way maker. Way maker. He 
we made a way, we made when there was no way, we made it's awesome. awesome, yes he is, yes he is, yes he awesome. is, oh, provider, 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 provider. he's making way, provider. out of no way, provider. he's awesome, awesome. yes he is, yes he is, awesome. My old self, my keeper, awesome, awesome, oh, he's awesome, awesome, yeah, strong tower, strong tower, strong tower, strong tower. yes he is, strong tower, yeah, strong tower. Strong tower. he's awesome. awesome, come on, wave your hands if you know, awesome. oh, he's holy, he's holy, he's so holy, he's holy, he's holy. Holy. He's holy. My God's holy. He's, he's holy. awesome. Yeah, he's awesome. awesome. My, my God is awesome. He can move mountains. He can move mountains. Keep me in the Keep valley. Me in the valley. Hide me from the rain. Hide me from the rain. Point to yourself, my God. My God is awesome. Heals me when I'm broken. Praise is holy. Praise is holy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God is awesome. Awesome. Oh.
come Hallelujah. and bow. How down. So come and bow. morning I felt like Elder Jeff because last night I got real quick I got called into work train accident seven people in the car only one made it to the hospital in the shape he made it in he's not gonna make it and all I could think about was Elder Jeff. God is wonderful. Oh, yes, I drove home last night. We worked on that man for four hours. And I, I was throughout the case, I just kept singing it because I couldn't let it go. And I drove home last night. God is so good to me. God is so good to me. I don't serve him as I should. Anybody have a praise on their tongues? Hallelujah. Anybody thankful today? Hallelujah. If I knew that song halfway through it, I would, I would bust out with the song, I am so grateful. 
to have Christ in my life. What would I do without him? My life would be dark and very dreary. I am grateful. I'm grateful today, hallelujah, to have Christ in my life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lift your hands and give God some praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Then I was I will wind it up with, with this song. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. I thank you for the days of my life. Hallelujah. It was a time when I was sick. He healed me. There was a time when I was lost, y'all. And he found me. <laughs> I thank you, Lord. I thank you. <laughs> thank you, Lord. Didn't have no directions. Then he directed me. Oh, God, I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I thank you, Lord. I thank you. Thank you. Mm, thank you for all the days of my life. Lord, I thank you. Oh, I thank you, Lord. Thank you for the days of my life. When I was sick. Lord, you, when I was sick, Lord, you, hallelujah, when I was sick, Lord, you, and I thank you for the days of my life, oh, Lord, I thank you, oh, I thank you, Lord, I thank you, thank you for the days. Of my life. Lord, I thank you, Lord. Oh, yes, I thank you, Lord. I thank you. Thank you for the days of my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anybody want to praise him? Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. Oh, yes, I thank you, Lord. Thank you for the days of my life. Oh, Lord, I thank you. Oh, yes, I thank you, Lord. Oh, I thank you for the days of my life. Lord, I thank you. Oh, yes, I thank you, Lord. I thank you. Thank you for the days of my life when I was lost. Lord, you found me when I was lost. Lord, you found me when I was lost. Lord, you found me and I thank you for the days of my life. One more time. Oh, Lord, I thank you. Oh, yes, I thank you, Lord. Oh, I thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, I thank you. Thank you, Lord, I thank you. Thank you for the days of my life. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, I thank you. Amen. 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 Is there any amens in the house? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I agree. I concur. I thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Praise God for the praises. The praises belong to him. Amen. We give God the glory, and certainly we honor the Lord Jesus Christ, and to our pastor, Bishop Ken, to our district elder, Brown, and to our first ladies, and 
everyone in the house of God. Hallelujah to God. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. You know, when the Lord was passing out gifts, I don't, I don't know if he gave me the gift to sing. But one thing he did do, he gave me a gift of praise. I can praise him <laughs> because he said that everything. I, I, I imagine that being a rat, a roach, <laughs> a cricket, <laughs> everything that have breath. Let him praise God. I got to praise. Hallelujah. We praise him for it. We thank him. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Mother, Bo Mother Butler, you better, you better bail me out. It's offering time. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. It's offering time. We thank God for the opportunity to give. Amen. Giving it shall be given unto you. Praise God. We, are, we just thank God. You know, you're giving is a, in a sense, it's a, a form of thanking. Amen. You, 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 there, you're presenting it to God. Praise God. You're giving your best, not just finances, but giving your best. And whatever you do, amen. And it'll come back to you. You got to practice. Amen. You got to practice. You got to practice what you preach. Amen. So I want you to take an offering today, a good offering, if you would, please. Amen. And stand with me with your offering. Hallelujah. We thank God for our, our 12 o'clock prayer. The Lord really has blessed us this first week of prayer. Amen. And I, I just, it's been in my spirit, they that pray can expect a miracle. Praise God. Amen. So we saying to you and also to social media, to anyone in this community, amen, to come and join us in 12 o'clock prayer, Monday through Friday, from 12 o'clock to 1 o'clock. Oh, God, we thank you. We thank you. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we do thank you for who you are and for what you've done. We thank you for what you're doing in the lives of your children, oh God. We thank you for what you're doing even in this community. The doors that you're opening for your children, Lord, for your church, that we can be ambassadors, that we can be greater witnesses, amen, of you and of your word, of your love, your kindness towards me. And as we bring an offering to you today, we ask you to bless this offering, to consecrate it, to dedicate this offering for your service. We ask this to the glory of God our Father, in the precious name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The choir is going to bless us again. The deacons are going to direct this. Hallelujah.
Oh, how precious is the name the of Jesus. Jesus. Oh, 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 he will pick you up oh, when oh, you oh, 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 fall. Jesus, 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 Oh, how precious, oh, precious, precious is His name. Oh, how precious, oh, how precious is the name, the name of Jesus. Of Jesus. Oh, He will pick you up. It's time you come, it's time you come. Oh, how precious, oh, how precious.
Amen. Now it's come time for the word of God. Man, man shouldn't live by bread alone. It's just something you ought not to do. But by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. We thank God for the word. We thank God for a man of God that's capable and willing. Praise God. You can be capable but not willing. Hallelujah. To bring to us the word of God. And we want you to just listen attentively. Amen. We came here looking for something. It's here. Hallelujah. It's here. It's in the house. It's in the house. Hallelujah. Everything we need is in the house. So we thank God for this elder, Dr. Brown. He's going to come before us, but before he comes, Sister Kat Katrina Coleman, she's going to bless us in song and praise. And the next voice that you will hear will be of the speaker of the hour, this elder, Dr. Homer Brown. Let's greet him with a hearty amen. 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 God bless you all. I'm going through something personal in my life, and only God can pull me out of this. Only he can. But I'm fighting. I'm fighting him because of what things I've been through with people. And I'm just praying that God just see me through. So this is the song that brought down in my spirit because of what I'm going through. I don't know. What I would do, I just don't know. If the Lord wasn't known, my side, I don't know what I would do. If the Lord was in oh, my side, there wouldn't be fresh air oh, 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 for me to breathe. There wouldn't be a reason to get down on my bending knees. Hallelujah. I don't know what I would do. No. If the Lord was in on my side. Just ain't just ain't no telling where I would be if the Lord hadn't washed over me. Oh, yeah. It just ain't no telling where would I be if the Lord hadn't washed over me. Jesus Christ, he died that I might be free, yeah, so I can live with him through all eternity, and I, I, I just don't know where, where I would be if the Lord the Lord wasn't on my side. Oh, you see, you see, problem. Satan, the Lord rebuke you. I've had my share, mm -hmm. and oh, my burden, all of them. Oh, I had to bear. Oh, yes, I did. And it all will be all over soon. Not to worry out. Don't you know that he is my God? You better
child of believing, and I, I am his child, yes I am, and I, 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 I just don't know, hallelujah, where will I be, the Lord was in on my side, I don't know just what I'll do without the Lord. Oh, I don't know just what, just what. Oh, I don't know, I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. I, I don't know. you have to talk to him and if you can't talk to him you sing to him like that David said this poor man cried unto the Lord and the Lord heard his cry and delivered him from all of his troubles hallelujah I remember the chief apostle would say that all the time you got to learn how to cry can't be all stubborn and all big and all pumped up Sometimes you got to break it down. You got to come to him like a little child. I need you, Lord. I don't know what I'm going to do without you. I don't know how I'm going to make it through this without you. I need you, Lord. I don't know if there's anybody in the house that need the Lord, but I'm going to tell you something. I, I definitely need the Lord. I was so tickled uh, earlier because I saw this road come through the line uh, to put their offering in and they was singing that song and they did their number qu choir number one move. <laughs> you know how choir number one used to come down the aisle? Hey. I don't know if they knew they were doing it but they did the choir number one. Ain't no home. Man, God is good. I was feeling a little down. It got me a little smile. <laughs> like for you to notice today as I as you get there and I'll give our uh, protocol things that I have to do. I'm going to be looking at Luke the ninth chapter in the 51st verse and also Ephesians 6 and 12 but you don't have to turn there. I give honor to of course Father, uh, 
so glad that he has brought us together one more time. So glad that he has blessed us, he has kept us, and he continues to do great things for us. Uh, thank God for the Lord Jesus Christ, who is our Savior, our Deliverer. I thank the Lord for his Holy Spirit. He's very important in our lives. I give honor to Bishop Ken and his companion in his absence, to District Elder Jeffrey Davis and his companion, our pastor, uh, also to Lady Robert Brown, our my companion who makes y'all mad because she be chauffeuring me. <laughs> what you doing behind the wheel? Uh, to all the mothers missionaries, to the men of the gospel, the preachers, the deacons, to sisters, brothers. I thank God for the spirit of the choir today. They felt like praising him. Thank and it, the harmony of it was beautiful. So they were a one. Thank God for the visitors today and everybody in their respective place. If I miss somebody, uh, it wasn't intentional. I know the children are across the street, so we still honor them. Uh, Matthew 9 and verse 51. Uh, Luke, I'm sorry, Luke. Luke, work with me. You ready? And it came to pass when the time was come that he should be received up, he steadfastly set his face to go to Jerusalem and sent messengers before his face. And they went and entered into a village of the Samaritans to make ready for him. Uh -huh. And they did not receive him because his face was as though he would go to Jerusalem. And when his disciples, James and John, saw this, they said, Lord, will thou that we command fire to come down from heaven consumed them even as Elijah did. But he turned and rebuked them and said, you know not what manner of spirit you are of. For the Son of Man has not come to destroy man's life but to save them. And they went to another village. I'll go ahead and take my thought, and my thought is, Lord, keep me in the right spirit that you can use me. Keep me in the right spirit that you can use me. The Bible tells us in Romans, uh, Ephesians, excuse me, the uh, sixth chapter, in the 12th verse, that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but we wrestle against principalities, powers, rulers of the darkness of this world, and spiritual wickedness in high places. We wrestle not against people or folks. Sometimes we lose battle because we don't know what we are wrestling with. We don't know what we're really fighting against. It is spiritual warfare. And for every place that God wants to bless you, there's a demon that's trying to stop it. There's a spirit that works against it. And sometimes just because of what we hear, a spirit can't come on us. Let me say the wrong thing. And we will immediately, we call it an attitude. But you don't caught the wrong spirit. 
And if you catch the wrong spirit and operate in the wrong spirit, that means the Holy Ghost has to go to the back. Because you can have the Holy Ghost and still have the wrong spirit. I can't get nobody to talk to me a little bit here. Hallelujah. And sometimes I have, because I'm not just going to tell it on you, I've caught myself. Let me say that. In the wrong spirit. And when you're in the wrong spirit, it is very difficult to get the victory. It is very difficult to be blessed. It is very difficult really to have joy and to have peace. In fact, sometimes it makes you trouble. Sometimes it makes you disturbed. Sometimes it'll make you even back away from God. Imagine in this story that Jesus is saying to them, I want you to go make ready for me. They are walking with Jesus. And Jesus' mindset is on Jerusalem because he has to now go and be crucified. He has come. He's done miracles. He's healed. He's saved. He delivered. But he understands the path of God, the ways of God, the purpose of God, that no matter how good God has been to me, there comes a time for the end. And he has his mind set for Jerusalem. And as he has his mind set for Jerusalem, he tells the disciple, go and make ready. The people love them. But because he wasn't giving them the attention that they want. You know, God don't really have to do anything for me, for me to praise him. Because I know he's good. I, I, I don't know if I'm trying to help anybody. I, I know that he saved me. I know that he delivered me. I know that he brought me out. I know that he touched me. I know that he gave me the Holy Ghost. I know that he delivered me from a lot of different stuff. And just for that, I got enough to tell him thank you. He don't have to do something for me every minute. Now, I got my little grandson. He stayed with me this weekend, and he needed something every minute. <laughs> and then when I went to sleep, he called his daddy. God doesn't need to do and prove that he is God or that he's good. He doesn't need to do something all the time because God is good all the time. And all the time, it's on me when I think of his goodness. I'm the one that ought to give him praise. But I can't give him praise because sometimes I'm just in the wrong spirit. Something has come along and has got in my mind. And so in my mind, I don't have peace. God, I wish I, that's what I, 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 have, I have a disturbance. And wherever there's a disturbance or confusion, God is not in the midst of that because he is not the author of confusion. They go to Jerusalem, and when they get there, they find out that people don't want to mess with Jesus because Jesus is not going to do anything for them this day. His mind's not even set toward them. And they refuse to let him in. And so they go back and say, hey, Jesus, they don't want to entertain you today. That's a bad thought right there. So I'm going to pray for them right now. Because if you had a chance right now to praise him, would you open your mouth and praise him? I, I know you got some stuff going on, but if you had an opportunity to give him praise, would you, would you give him praise? If, if you had an opportunity, maybe he's not doing anything, but he's just good. And so he goes back and the disciples who walk with him, 
there comes a time that you ought to know something about him. There comes a time, mother, brother, we should know some of his ways. There come a time where we know we should know what he likes. Because when he likes something, he touches it. When he likes something, he draws near to it. God, I praise you. Hallelujah. That's what some people don't understand. Hallelujah. That's why when you get in trouble and you start praising him, that's why you start feeling better because you make him come nearer. But you can't make him come nearer or help him to, uh, tell him to come nearer when you got the wrong. You got the wrong spirit. That's why he said, I haven't given you the spirit of fear. There's some things, even myself, I discovered that there's some spirits that seem to think that I belong to them. That there's some spirits, if I could be honest, he said, well, he, you supposed to have the Holy Ghost. I got the Holy Ghost, but I got some other spirits, too. And there's some spirits that think that I belong to them. Because the Bible says when an unclean spirit is gone out of a man, it goes through dry places trying to find a place to live. And when it can't find a place, it comes finding the house clean and garnish, it comes back and brings seven more demons with it. It's still trying to get in. It's still knocking at the door. It's still there if you open up. Boy, y'all looking at me funny. I'm talking to you. You don't like to hear stuff like that. You think you got it all together, but you know you don't have it all together. It's a spirit, and there's many spirits in the world. But thank God, he give us the greatest spirit. That's his spirit, the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost will defeat every spirit. Oh, God, I'm preaching hard here. The Holy Ghost, you got to have the Holy Ghost, and when you got it, when you have the Holy Ghost, you got to let the Holy Ghost be the boss. If it say shut your mouth, shut your mouth. If it say hold your peace, hold your peace. If it tell you don't worry about it, don't worry about it. As many are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons and daughters of God. The Holy Ghost gives us victory over every spirit. That's why the Bible says you're not wrestling against people. This is principalities. This is darkness. This is spiritual wickedness in high places. This is spirits that are trying to get you. How y'all might say uh, hallelujah, glory to God. But thank God for the Holy Ghost. Uh, anybody got the Holy Ghost in the house? Say, you can tell when it's the wrong spirit because it want to hurt somebody. Want somebody to go to hell. Want somebody to backslide. I'm talking real up in this house here. I, I don't know why y'all do that. Want, want somebody to get on down the road somewhere. Want somebody, don't talk to me. It is a divisive spirit. It causes division. And the Lord said, a house that's divided. This is Brown preaching. I feel it in my soul. It, it, it don't want us to get together. It comes to destroy. Jesus knew that they had the wrong spirit because they said, Shall we call down fire from heaven like Elijah and consume everybody? 
don't you know God is love? And everybody that's born of God loves. Love who? Love my friends? No, love your enemies. Hallelujah. Pray for those that despitefully use you. I got another spirit. Oh, God, I pray. You know, it used to be a time, and it's almost a time now sometimes. You don't like me, I don't like you either. Hey, you can go your way, I can go my way, we can be fine. But when I got the Holy Ghost, hallelujah, with love and kindness have I drawn you. Why you still love me? Why you still praying for me? Because the God I serve, he's love. And I want to be just like him. God, I wish I had somebody else. He said, you don't know what kind of spirit you are under. Isn't it amazing that that spirit can get on you and you can say stuff at the house? <laughs> on the job. And if it catch it wrong, you'll say it in the church. Sometimes the wrong spirit comes in from hearing. The Bible says, take heed what you hear. It's amazing how powerful hearing is. The Bible says, faith comes by hearing. The Bible says, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. But how can they call upon him whom they have not heard? And how can they not hear without a preacher? The ear is powerful. You should let everybody play in your ear. Preaching hard now. Because sometimes the spirit gets into who you by, by who you're listening to. In the Old Testament, there's a scripture in the book of Kings where uh, Jerobim, he went to Rehoboam, who was the son of King Solomon, the wisest man in the world. And he said, your dad put a burden on us. And what would you, we want you to do is ease the burden. Just a little bit. And so he said, give me three days. So he went first and talked to the elders, the wise people, the people who've been there, the people who know the way. The people who seen God move. The people who seen the victory. The people who know. And they said, if you treat them people right, say they will be your servants forever. And then he says, okay. He went to his friends. The one he grew up with. The one he started up in the church with. Been around a long time. What y'all think? And he said, tell them that my, look, tell them that your finger is bigger than your daddy's waist. And when you put your finger on them, it's going to be terrible. And that's what you're going to do. And it split Israel and Judah. That's how you got the split. You got the split because somebody got the wrong information and they got the wrong spirit. You got the wrong information and you got the wrong spirit. You should not listen to people who when they get through talking to you, it make your blood pressure rise. Make you want to fight somebody. Make you want to do some stuff that is ungodly. Because what they've done is, is depositing you the wrong spirit. But I come to give you a remedy today. You can tell the Lord set me free. Create in me. 
clean heart. Renew the right spirit. Because I want to enjoy my salvation. Huh? I want to enjoy my deliverance. Huh? I want to enjoy my church time. I want to enjoy my fellowship. I'm talking to y'all today. If you if you in this, don't you want to enjoy it? Do you want to sit around here forever and have them sad faces? Anybody want to praise them for real? You can't do it with the wrong spirit. It's a weight. That's why the Bible said lay aside and the sin that so easily beset us. The wrong spirit. Lord, I don't want the wrong spirit. I, I, I want a spirit that matches up with you. Why do you want to match up with me? Because you said, how can two walk together except for there be in agreement? Hallelujah. I want to be in agreement with your spirit. I, I want to walk just like you. I, I want to talk just like you. I want to be just like you. Turn your Bibles to Samuel, 2 Samuel, the 10th chapter. Because it's about spirit. You can't get the Holy Ghost without the right spirit. You have to have a spirit that's open for God. I, I want the joy of the spirit. I, I want the freedom of the spirit. I, I, I want to I rejoice in the spirit. Because then God can use me. I should have told y'all. I should have gave y'all a uh, precursor and let y'all know I was coming like this. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Second Samuel. Second Samuel. The Lord was dealing with me about this scripture. And you know what I did? I put that scripture away. <laughs> because he gave me another scripture that showed the same thing. And so in the climate that we live in today, I have to be careful. Because folks are here, you preaching something. And then they apply it to today's things that are going on. And they'll put it back to the people and say that you were preaching against them. And so here's one of them spirit, a spirit of fear. Because you, you, you got to be careful. What you got to look and see if the tape, oh, tape on. Uh, let me see if I can say it another way. Because we live in that type of climate, that political climate today. And so the people don't get everything that God wants you to give because you almost have to be careful if you're afraid of some folk. Y'all ain't paying no attention to me today. I, I'm just honest. I'm just honest. See, because sometimes the people of God are asleep. And all kinds of stuff is happening all around you. But thank God you got the Holy Ghost because he'll build a fence around you. But when you know too much and you see it all, and sometimes you find yourself, and it may just be in your crazy mind. Find yourself on the edge and you say, oh, I better not say that. I better not say this. I better not say that. I better not say that. Then you need to tell the Lord, Lord, give me the right spirit. Give me boldness to speak your word. Give me boldness to praise you in bad places. Give me the boldness to stand up anyhow. Give me the boldness to give you glory. 
Give me the right spirit. Because that's what we need. We need boldness. Hallelujah. We don't need to back up. Beloved, we are the children of God. And if it does not yet appear what we shall be, we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him. For we shall see him. Ten and one. And it came to pass after this that the king of the children of Ammon died. The children of Ammon, now the children of Ammon, they were enemies. They could not stand Israel. They fought with Israel all the time, but they did David. The dad did David. He was scared of David. He, he was friends with David. And Hannah, his son, ring in his stead. Then said David, I will show kindness unto Hannah, the son of Nahish. And his father showed kindness unto me. And David sent to comfort him by the hands of his servant for his father. So David, Nahish died. And David went to the son who was with his father, who should know that his David had been good to his father and his father had been good to David, that they had a fellowship and a relationship. And so David sent to comfort him, sent to do good. You could do good in the wrong spirit. You could do good and the wrong spirit come back to you. Uh, why y'all ain't saying that, but I'm saying it. Thank you, I got some grown folks here. And David's servants came into the land of children of Amma. Third verse, and the princess of the children of uh, Amma said unto Hannah, Hannah, their Lord, you think that David honors your father? And he sent somebody to comfort to you? Has he not rather sent his servants to thee to search the city, to spy it out, and to overthrow it? David, in his heart, set to do right. Oh, my God. You see, when I do stuff like this, I mean, I'm trying to search for the right word. Because if I say the wrong and put it the wrong way, it's going to come out wrong. Or somebody going to interpret it wrong. Um, he, he wanted to, to do something good. He, he, he wanted to, to let him know, I'm there for you. He, he wanted them to know, I, I, I got, got the, the right, right spirit toward you. Is, it, is there anybody around that you got the right spirit for them? Just tell them I got the right spirit for you. I got the right spirit for you. I, I got the right spirit for you. You may not like me, but I got the... You may talk about me, but I got the... I, I got the spirit that both of us can be blessed. David had the right spirit for him. So he sends somebody to comfort him. And the people who were there, Pastor, the ones that he listens to, they could be your friends for years. You could have got saved right here. They were there. You were right there with them. They could be people you eat with. Anybody who going to put the wrong spirit in my ear. Oh, Lord, help me. I want to live right. Help me, Lord. I need the right spirit that I can please you, that I can bless you, that I can be used by you. 
You think David is trying to help you? Oh, Deacon Paul, can, can you imagine? Did you think Homer was coming here to, to help out? Uh-uh. He coming to take over. Watch what I say. He's slick. Watch him now. Where you get that from? Just pull it out of there and put it in somebody's ear. Again, anything that tries to destroy and divide is not the right spirit. That's what they did to, to Hanan. Hanan says, yeah. Because if you hear it enough and the people who talk in it act like they know what they're talking about, Oh, Jesus. And so, watch what he, do, he does. Is it all right if I take my time like this? He said it come to spy it out. Fourth, fourth verse. Wherefore, Hanan, Hanan took David's servant, shaved off half of their beard. And cut off their garments in the middle all the way up to their buttocks. They did not have, they had not invented underwear yet. But they wore long pants. So when the men of God came, holy were their beard, they were long. They cut half the beard off down the middle. They took clothes and cut the clothes up all the way up to about right there. And sent them back home. And what it read, read on just a little bit, it says, when, fifth verse, when they told it unto David, he sent to meet them because the men were greatly ashamed and the, kids, uh, the king said, tarry at Jericho until your beards be grown and then return. And when the children of Israel or Ammon saw that they stank before David. You, you know when folks stank, don't you? You look at them like this. They created a different spirit. They created a division. They created a problem. But I say to us today, we must understand that we are wrestling against spirits. And if you know what manner of spirit you are, If you know what it is that you're wrestling against, what is it about when that person talk that bothers you? What is it about the way that person look that bothers you? What is it about the way they testify that makes you upset? What is the way about the way they, they, they stand up? I don't even like the way they walk. That ain't them. It's a spirit. And every spirit that's not like God need to come out. Every lying spirit, every divisive spirit, everything that works against the knowledge of God needs to come down. Every high place. Don't matter who has it. It doesn't matter who have it. I just got, I, I have good sense. 
and I have enough sense to tell the Lord, I can't counsel with you because you can't counsel it out. It has to be cast out. And so I, have to, I got enough sense to go to the one who know how to cast it out. I, I can tell the Lord, hallelujah, created me. Give me the right spirit, uh, hallelujah, that I may be able to be used by you. I have enough sense to go in prayer and say, Lord, it's something about sister so-and-so that bothers me. And I need to be delivered. <laughs> I cut up myself. I needed to come out. I needed to leave me alone. I needed to go to the pits of hell. Why? Because I want my joy back. God, I praise you. I want my praise. I want to feel my praise. Is there anything that needs to be loosed in the house today? Oh, Lord Jesus. Y'all know, y'all. You know what's going to happen, is it? You know what's going to happen. They, they're going to call the chief apostle. They're going to call Pastor Ken. And they say, he can't be talking stuff like that. But if there's something that's stopping you from enjoying Jesus, if there's something that's stopping you from being blessed. If there's something that's stopping you from getting the Holy Ghost, uh, that's what we're supposed to do. Hallelujah. The Bible said this is the sign that follow them that bleed. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. They shall cast out demons. It's some stuff need to be cast out. Not just us. But the whole body. We got issues we don't get along. Still holding stuff. And the Lord is, is delaying some stuff for you to get yourself right. He said, I gave Jezebel space to repent. God, I wish I had some help in hell. I guess you don't get help on one for sermons like this. And she repented not. I'm a long-suffering God. I've been waiting on you. I sent a word for you. I, I'm calling you out. I want to deliver you. Just tap somebody. Say, you're still mad about it? I sent my word to heal you, to deliver you. I want you to have your joy back. I want you to have your peace back. I want you to have your dance back. I want you to have your happiness back. Leave them people alone. They are not your problem. They are my children. Leave them alone. Deal with the spirit. Deal with the source. Plead the blood against it. Tell it to come out. Tell it to leave you alone. In Jesus' name. I'm closing up. I was sitting at work. And them people must have gave me ten things to do at one time. And then this one lady, she's so confusing. She just walked in, standing at my door. And said, I'm confused. <laughs> and, and the enemy said, Why are you putting it up with this? You don't have to do this. Why don't you just leave it alone? Why don't you learn? Why don't you just tell them this is it? Well, I told the last people it was it. Then I went to these people. <laughs> and I said, how long are you going to keep running with that runaway spirit? Every time something get hot, you run. Every time something get difficult, you leave it. Every time something get rough, hallelujah, you quit. How long are you going to keep going like that? 
when you got all that power, when you got the Holy Ghost, when you got God on your side. How long you going to keep acting like you don't have what you have? How long are you going to keep acting like you don't have what you have? Because the Bible said, after the Holy Ghost come upon you, you shall re receive. Now, I, I just ask somebody, say, did you, did, you, did, you, did you get that power? You ain't say it like I said it. Did you get that power? Did you get that power? Anybody got power in the house? Anybody got Holy Ghost power? Hallelujah. If you got Holy Ghost power, you got two or three? Just, just, just say this. Everything on this bench that's not like God, loose here. No, say it out. Say it out. Everything on this bench. It's not like God. Loose here. Loose here. Loose here. I said go. I said go. In the name of I said go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. By what authority? By the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I think your robe feel a little lighter. I think some people feel a little better. Come on, let's stand and give him praise as we close up. If, if it's going to mess with you, if it's going to mess with you anyway, if it's going to mess with you anyway, why not cast it out? Why not talk back to it? Why not tell it where to go? Why not do what God says? The kid, I can't stop it from messing with me. Hits me in my body sometimes. Hits me in my mind sometimes. Hallelujah. Sometimes it'll come and it'll hit me in my brain. Sometimes it hit me in my finances. It, it's, it keeps constantly messing with me. But what it's trying to do is trying to let them spirits that used to live and the seven mode come back in. To make me worse than what I used to be. But the Lord didn't save me to be worse. He saved us to be better. And I'm getting better all the time. I said I'm getting better all the time. Anybody in the house getting better? May look like I'm losing. May look like I'm not winning. May look like I'm, I'm hurting. May look like I'm down for the count. But thanks be unto God who's able to keep us from falling. Oh, God, I'm you. oh glory to God. Hallelujah. I feel like praising him now. Hallelujah. Come on, praise him with me. Come on, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord on the praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, victorious people. Praise the Lord. I'm closing. I'm getting ready for the altar call. Don't just sit there and take it. Say something. Say something. Don't, don't beg him. Don't, don't beg the demon. Please, please demon, leave me alone. Don't beg him. Say something. Take authority over him. Hiya, my share. I give you authority over every creeping thing. I give you authority. You got to say something. 
Just tell somebody behind you, you got to say something. Because if you resist the devil, he'll flee. If you resist him, he'll flee. Hallelujah. Praise him one more time, saints, and I'm doing all to God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory to his name. Just a little while longer. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord. I see victory all in this house. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, you look good. You look victorious. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The victory is yours. The victory is yours. The victory is yours. It's a guarantee. The victory is yours. It's a guarantee. How the hell am I saying? Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. You might as well loose me, devil. You might as well let me go. I don't belong to you. Take your hands off me. Hallelujah, I'm about to praise him. Let me worship him. Let me call his name. Let me be filled. Get your hands off me. I'm about to call Jesus. And if I call him, he's going to fill me. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody want the Holy Ghost in the house? They may not have the strength to speak the things that you have the strength to speak. But I'm saying to the enemy today, I'm speaking in their stead. Take your hands off me. Loose me. I'm about to call on the name of Jesus. And he's about to fill me with.